special delivery of America's historic achievements was the destiny of the B-29. For the Army Air Forces next committed the giant B-29 Armada to science. Never before had such a mighty target been assembled beneath a bomb site. 73 ships in a five mile area, it was a bombardier's dream target. On Kwajalein, the ground crews prepared for crossroads, fully aware of the watchful eyes of the world. With calm precision, they checked the motors for last minute adjustments. Each entire aircraft was given a final tune-up. Special equipment long kept under protective covers against the elements was brought out and installed. The last rehearsals are held with the drone planes carriers of all kinds of scientific instruments for measuring the effects of the blast. The ground beep pilot takes the plane off the ground. The beep television control in the mothership takes over for the maneuvers. Finally, the drone is turned back to a ground beep control for a perfect landing. The mighty A-bomb was carefully loaded into Dave's dream, the ship chosen to carry and drop the bomb. Constant guard was maintained and loading activities were carried on behind canvas screens. Aboard the target ships, last minute preparations were also underway. Animals of various kinds were readied for tests to tell what effects the bomb had on living things. The sheep, first sheared, are then covered with ointment as protection against flash burns. The effects of the bomb on these animals, while not conclusive, will furnish many clues as to the effect on human beings. Leaving their ships, many of them for the last time, crew members boarded barges bound for the observation fleet and safety. Early morning, July 1st, 1946. Able Day in the Pacific, D-Day of Operation Crossroads. One of the world's largest aircraft, carrying a tiny particle of atomic energy, speeded down the runway for science. AAF special delivery of man's most terrible secret, a delivery time to the split second. Scientists, statesmen, military men, and John Q. Public all over the world had turned their eyes toward Bikini. Many precautions were taken to prevent injury to the personnel. All men of the observation fleet were warned against exposing their eyes to the flash following the burst. To give further protection against flash exposure, black lensed Air Force gunner's glasses were provided for those whose duty necessitated watching the burst. Youth and years of scientific study combined to test the power of the atom. Young men with war-tempered nerves, steeled in battle, awaited coolly for bomb away. Learned scientists awaited tensely below to study the effects. As the metronome ticked away the eventful seconds, the world in questioning suspense waited. Unspoken was the question, what will happen? into the power of the universe. Plutonium, one small particle burst into this staggering energy. Temperature at the explosion center is perhaps 100 million degrees Fahrenheit. The terrific pressure caused winds up to approximately 1,000 miles per hour. The radioactive vapor and debris rose to five miles and lasted an hour before dispersing. The 
inspection and salvage fleet move cautiously toward the target area, testing for radioactivity with Geiger counters. Firefighters brought the flames under control, preparing the damaged vessels for boarding and examination. Scientific instruments were removed from the ships and given to the laboratories for careful study. X-ray and high-speed atomic particles, both deadly types of radioactivity, were discovered. Heavy damage was sustained by a large part of the target ships. The Saratoga was severely hit. The Jap cruiser Sakawa was damaged so badly that it later sank. The submarine skate with hull intact was completely smashed topside and many other ships suffered heavily from the blast. Probably no fleet will ever again be gathered so conveniently for an atomic attacker. But neither would an aggressor nation use only one bomb. Bikini will answer many questions. The answers will pave the way for more questions.